Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm just gonna take you along me organizing my room. It is in an absolute state right now. I literally tidied it three days ago. Like I just, I'm a messy person. Like I like things clean, but I'm messy. Like I'm not a tidy person and I hate that about myself. I'm trying to get into habits of becoming tidier like i saw something saying every time you go into your room like put away five things because it will literally take you like a minute if that uh have i done it no so basically i just have a mountain of things that need to either get put away or organized like my desk that you are currently on now like that i do my makeup in front of it used to be organized it is now like a tip so i thought i would just do a little organizing thing i'll take you through like my favorite products and things while i'm doing it like the things that my faves and clothing wise I need to organize my wardrobe a little bit my wardrobe is actually quite tidy i just need to put things away but yeah that's basically the vibe of this video very chilled casual i was going to put on the new ariana grande album because i have 36 minutes left on my memory card before <laughs> i have no storage left on my memory card and the ariana grande album is 36 minutes long and this also means I have to film this in 30 minutes. So it means that I have 30 minutes to tidy. So I actually am not going to be procrastinating, which is great. But I was going to put on the Ariana Grande album, but I can't because it will get copyrighted because it was on YouTube. So I'm not going to be able to have those songs to listen to, but that album is incredible. Like, I love it. I've been listening to it nonstop. I've not literally listened to other songs other than that since I started listening to it probably two whenever it came out. No, I think I was a bit late to it. Maybe like two days ago. When did it come out? I don't know. But also I got my hair done today. I didn't get any bleach put in it. I just got it retoned. But I feel like it looks like I've had it like fully done. So if you're a blonde and you feel like you need your hair done, just get it toned. And then you can go further in between like appointments. Anyway, I am rambling. I'm going to show you the state of my desk. So this is what <laughs> we're looking like. Oh my God actually horrendous and then my drawer looks like this oh my god i cannot believe what i'm showing you guys this this is actually embarrassing it's like a state it's a state i've been living out of my makeup bag my refi makeup bag for when did i even go away when did i even pack it like a couple of weeks ago i've just been living out of the makeup bag it's just because i can't bother to put it away that is actually like the reality of it i'm not gonna lie that is the stage that i'm at with my laziness to do with tidying because i let it become such a big job and i know i know that the problem is i let it become like a massive job but apparently i don't do anything about it so i'm gonna start off with ooh, you're very shaky when i do that i'm gonna leave it open i'm gonna start off with like cream products for my face because i was doing my makeup kind of in my bathroom a bit but i think i've decided i'm just gonna keep doing my makeup on this desk bit here so i can like actually organize this drawer like it used to be organized because this is actually embarrassing maybe i'll take everything out should i take everything out is that a bad idea no i'm gonna take everything out okay okay i've moved on to the floor because you couldn't really see what i was doing so i thought i'd just sit on the floor and do it so you felt more involved but i have my trays here they are disgustingly dirty so i'm going to clean these these are from amazon by the way they're actually really good because it just means that i can separate my product oh my god there's been like an oil spill what is that i think it's spilled in this tray but i'm just using these like wipe things to wipe the trays oh my god i just snapped my nail off <laughs> One sec. Okay, the trays are all clean, so it's time to actually fill them. So in this one, I'm gonna do my go-to like cream products. So foundations, cream bronzers, concealers, that kind of thing. So for foundation, obviously I'm gonna put in my wet and wild foundation. I have this in shade golden beige, it's the best. I love it. Then I have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which again I never used to be a fan of but it's become one of my top two i actually have another wet and wild one just in case so i've got two of those there then i'm going to put in my concealers okay i've got a few concealers that are going to go in so the giorgio armani luminous silk concealer is really nice then we have the l'oreal infallible concealer shade vanilla i think that one i have shade two the giorgio armani one this is shade vanilla then i have two of the revolution conceal and define concealers and they're in shades C1 and C6.5. And then I have another one of that same concealer, it's just a bigger one, and I haven't finished it yet, so no point not putting that in. 
I do also have like she glam ones, but I don't know where they are. This is what you get for being messy. Um, when I find them, they'll go in, but right now I have no idea where they are. For cream bronzer, I'm gonna put in the Refi one in shade June. I love this, this is my go-to at the minute. But I'm also gonna put in the Merit Contour Stick. What's it called? Merit Bronze Balm Stick in shade Clay. This is really, really nice. I just have been using my Refi one to be honest over this at the minute, but I like this as well, so that's gonna go in. For liquid blush, I'm gonna put in a couple, actually a few. This is the Refi Blush in shade Rose. If I can get it open, it's the most beautiful blush shade. I love it. Then we have the Be Perfect the Cheek blush in shade Just Peachy. I love this. And then the She Glam Liquid Blush, whatever it's called, in Rose Ritual. So these three are going in. They're kind of just all different shades. So depending on what I feel like, this will probably be the one that I'm going for most, most recently, most at the minute. Um, but then these two I also like. I'm then just going to pop in the liquid highlighter from Refi, not actually because it's a go-to, just because it looks really cute and I want to put it in, so that's going in there, and then that is my liquids pot done, pot, this is not a pot, what is it, a tray, a tray. The next tray is for powders and like powder products and lips, because they all kind of go in the same one, I don't have that, that many powder products that I use. The two loose powders I'm going to put in are the Huda Beauty Cupcake I know, Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in shade Cupcake, water catch by the way. And then I'm gonna put in the Refi Pri Primer. It's not a primer, Daisy, it's a powder. Powder. Because I tried this out in my Refi video and I actually really, really liked it for kind of like more natural makeup days. I don't know, I just feel like it was a more natural powder. So I'm putting that in because I loved that. Then for powder bronzes, I'm putting in the Sigma Light and Medium ones these are the only powders i've literally ever used bronzer wise pretty much like since i started social media these are basically the only ones i've ever used so if you've ever thought what powder bronzer is Daisy using it'll be these the sigma matte bronzer in light and medium normally light medium is on a very rare occasion that i'm actually a bit tanned for powder blush i also only have one that i use this is the laura mercier powder blush in shade bellini i love that that's going straight in there then for pressed powders, I've obviously got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. I love this so much. It's so nice and brightening. And then I've just got the, what even is this? Transparent Powder. I'm guessing it's, oh, it's Rimmel. Stay Matte from Rimmel Transparent. I just like this for like a little bit more coverage if I need it. Then for highlights, I've got this one. This is the Too Faced Moon Crush Highlighter. It's so good. So good. Forgot to say eyebrows and eyes and stuff is going in this box. So... It's a tray in this tray, so I'm using the GGB Beloved Brow Fix um, brow gel at the minute, brow thing at the minute. I love this so much. I actually am going to put the Refi one in as well. Is this the Refi one? Yeah, because I liked them both. I would definitely reach for either of these. They're both very, very good. Then for eyebrow products, I've got the Revolution Duo Brow Pencils in shade Dark Brown. Love them. Okay, mascara wise, my go-to mascara is this one. It's the Maybelline The Full Seas Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. If you are someone that has like quite straight lashes or they don't really hold a curl normally, this is so good, I promise you. It's like nine pounds as well. This is my go-to waterproof mascara. And then this is the Refi Lash Sculpt. I love this for a non-waterproof mascara. If I just want a little bit of something on my lashes, it's not as good at holding the curl and being as dark as that, that other one but if you're a more like waterproof like wispier kind of lash girl this is really good then for eyeliner i use the collection fast stroke long wear liner in brown i need to get a new one of these because that is almost finished to be honest i might do lips in another one i have like smaller pots which i might put lips in because that looks quite nice and mm. No, that's unnecessary. So I'm going to move on to lips. I have a lot of lip liners going in, but I change up my lip liner quite a lot just depending on what I want that day. So I have my three Refi liners in taupe, blush and rosewood. These are so good. They do not budge as well. They're just incredible. Then I have the Beauty Bay liner in whip. Yeah, whip. That's going in. Then L'Oreal liner in shade 630. I love this. And then I don't really use this, but it's quite a nice colour ish it's definitely not a go-to it's not my favorite but i will sometimes potentially use this maybe just to grab to put in my bag just in case this is the foxy nude liner from primark okay then lipstick wise we have matte lipstick in shade naked from primark and the beauty bay lipstick in shade t i think this is the matte one as well it actually doesn't specify oh no it does that was a complete line matte lipstick in shade t 
and that is this tray finished okay the next tray is for like skin prep skincare slash skin removal <laughs> not skin remo makeup removal okay this actually isn't going in there because it is finished well i guess i could get one more use out of this but it's basically finished this is the glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist i love this so much this is like an empty this month you know when people do those like empty videos i never do that because i feel like i don't use that much stuff so it doesn't ever empty i don't know i never have like empty things i never have empty things it's so weird but i always use the same things i don't know i have like a never running supply in the same bottle then going in is the watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer this is so nice then we have the quarterly vino perfect vino perfect radiance serum collection correcting serum thing so nice just realized i forgot to put my refi lip gloss in my oh and this lip gloss in my lip thing this is the ciate dewy gloss in shade charm it's beautiful this is the refi blush in shade refi gloss in shade blush i just realized i had a load of stuff in my bathroom that needs to go in these drawers so i just went and got that Okay, I'm actually going to split this up into skin care and skin prep. So in this one is skin prep, in skin care. So this is going, the cordy thing is going in the skin care, along with the Rode Barrier Restore Cream, the Rode Peptide Glazing Fluid, the Rode Glazing Milk. This is so nice. Can you tell that I like Rode products? In the skincare tray is going to go this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Hydrator Mist. This is so nice. It gives such a nice glow when like you're not wearing makeup. Or if you are, it still gives a nice glow over makeup. But I use my like setting spray more for that. I've been trialing this product. Actually, it's the Naturum Niacinamide Serum 12% plus Zinc 2%. It's basically the same as my ordinary one. But it's just got like slightly more percentage of the like active ingredients. So I feel like it probably just works a bit more. And that is my skin care tray done. Then going in the skin prep tray is the Refi Primer. I love that. Since I tried it in my video, it's become literally every single time I've done my makeup since then, it's been used. I'm also going to put in the Cordially Vino Pure Toner. This is so nice. Before my makeup, I do it just kind of cleans your face a bit more, I think. Also, I'm going to put in the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Water Cream. I love this stuff so much. I'm also just going to chuck the micellar water that I've got in either one of these trays, to be honest. Okay, that's all my makeup done. I need to do some hair care trays now. Okay, I've just realized I actually don't have space for a hair care drawer. I don't know why I thought I did. So I'm just gonna put my hair care stuff in my like drawer next to my thing, but just make sure everything hair care is in there. I'm gonna put my tray things away. So on like the furthest left side, I'm gonna do skin prep. No, I'm gonna do skincare, then skin prep, then cream products. And then last but not least, my powder products. Okay, look how much better it's looking. Now that it's all tidy. Yay, then this, actually this, but I just have my Olaplex oil and my Olaplex like uh, number six thing. And then I have my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and like a GHD volume thing. Also have my heat protectant in there as well. So yeah, that is my drawer. Then down here I just have like hair clips. I've got my hair like grippy thing, claw clip, that's what it's called. <laughs> Uh, a eyelash curler then I have my filming light and I if I need it for like extra light then hair um slick bun stuff there and then just like random bits in that bit so that is that organized I'm so pleased with myself oh I need to put these hair bands in somewhere I can go in there I'm so pleased with myself on that so yeah now it's time to move on to kind of the clutter behind me and I have 12 minutes on my camera is this gonna get done let's hope so i've just chucked any like extra bits in my refi makeup bag these are kind of stuff that i have just taken out of those things but i still definitely would reach for potentially but they're just not my go-to's but this can just hold so much so i think i just put this i put this up on my desk bit desk no it's like a draw chest of draw thing so i still like have access to it easy access but it's just not in my drawers so that is going up there i love the way that looks this is just messy that can go in the bin this is a concealer i believe so this can go in my concealer drawer i've actually kept these drawers so tidy guys if you guys watched my like making a content room video you'd have remembered and i've kept these drawers so tidy so i know that when i have like a organized thing it stays organized so that's what i just need to do for that draw because it was unorganized for a long time but now it's fine 
now, finally. Um, and then I just need to put a few things away in these drawers. So I've got my hairspray that needs to go in my hair drawer. Actually, I'll show you. Okay, my hair drawer is a bit shambolic, I'm not gonna lie. This is the drawer that, if any, has become a bit of a nightmare just because like hair masks and stuff are such a big pot so it doesn't stay like all perfect but yeah that's how my hair drawer is looking and then this is the like spare makeup y perfumey bits to be honest this is the thing i have never reached in these for perfume like i have not come to like get it but i've got like an attachment to it it's really bad like i do go through like my best friend was back home from uni the other day so i went through my drawers and picked out some things that I was like, last time I did an organization thing, I didn't, like I, I was like, right, okay, if I don't use these, then these will go in the thing and they weren't used. So I gave them to her, but perfumes and stuff, I don't know, I've got like an attachment to it because as well, the perfumes that I use, the Ebony Wood and the Fashionably London are discontinued. So I'm like, now I'm, what do I do with perfume? I need perfume. So that's why I keep things, but realistically, I'm never gonna get through all this stuff. Okay, you are currently propped up on my chest of drawers. I did actually go and delete some things from my memory card because I was stressed that I had 10 minutes left and I just didn't wanna be stressed. So I have deleted a few things so I can be a bit more chilled now, but I just have a few things to put away. So I thought I'd show you which things need to be put in these drawers and if I've like been liking them or not. First up is this Gizu, I think that's the way you say it, hair oil. I got sent this very kindly in PR and it is so nice. Like it's such a nice kind of oil. Like it's like a bit gloopier than like your Olaplex oil because the Olaplex one is a very like dry oil, I believe. I think I'm using the right terminology here. I don't actually know. Also from Gizu, I have this hair leave-in conditioner which is really nice i am keeping it in the box because it looks really cute in the box god i actually sound like i've got like a hoarding addiction this is really bad i don't but the box just looks really cute but this is going in my hair care drawer as well some lip products that i don't really use slash don't use at all i just tried them out are these two ysl like red lipsticks like i'll probably use them at some point if i ever want to wear a red lipstick but Realistically, I'm not going to be reaching for them. I'm not really a red lipstick girl. So they're going in there. And then I also have this Giorgio Armani um, thing. I think it's an eyeshadow like balm. But I tried it. I didn't like it. But I'm not going to throw it away because that's a waste. So I'm going to keep it. <laughs> See, this is my problem. I don't want to waste things. And I want to try things out. Like when I get sent them, it still feels like a little present. Like it is a little present. Like I still feel so lucky to get PR. And that will never go away. So as soon as I get PR, I like rip it open. And I'm like, oh my God, what did I get? And then when I don't like it, I'm like, oh, what am I going to do now? Because I can't give it to charity if it's been used. So quite a lot of the time I do say to like my friends, like my <laughs> one of my friends, like, do you want this? It has been used, but do you want it? Actually, speaking of PR, I got sent the Kylie Cosmetics. What is this called? Perfume. And... I am not like, I'm not obsessed with the smell, but can I just show you the PR package? So it comes like this and you open it and the light turns on. Like obviously it's literally Kylie Jenner. She's obviously gonna have cool PR packages, but like, whoa, so cool. Also, I've seen a lot of like slander, is that the right word, of the bottle. I think the bottle is so cool. Sorry. Okay, this is cool, but I can't really get it out. Okay, here we go. So this is the bottle. I think it is such a cool shape. I wish this was silver instead of like pinky silver, but I think the bottle is so cool. The smell is very like floral. It's definitely... Like it's nice. If I walk past someone on the street and they're wearing this, I'd think she smells, she smells nice. Is it what I imagine Kylie Jenner smells like? No. It's not that vibe. It's not like a rich, I feel like she would smell like really rich. This doesn't really smell rich. This smells like quite pretty. That's the way I'd probably describe it. I really like it. Now what, like am I meant to throw this away? Like that's so cool. It's too cool to throw away. Why am I struggling so much? Like, I don't want to throw this away. It's like a work of art. So this is my problem. This is my problem. Okay, now for my wardrobe. 
I don't have that that much stuff to put away. I had this on the floor. It's actually, when I put it on the floor, like a pile, it makes it look quite bad. This, that's a towel that can go back in my bathroom. But this is just what needs to go in the wardrobe, basically. It's not actually that much. That dressing gown doesn't go in my wardrobe. It goes under my bed. So I don't know why I've put it there, to be completely honest. Okay, that can get moved out of the way because that's an unfair example of what's going in my wardrobe. This is when you know that you have too many clothes. I've run out of hangers. This is going to make hanging things up quite difficult, isn't it? What about in this side of my wardrobe? Right, I'm going to go and need to nick some hangers from somewhere and I'll be back. Okay, I've found six hangers. That should be fine. Okay, first thing that's going back in my wardrobe is this Boohoo Man jumper. I love this so much. I'll see if I can find actually the links to things that I'm putting away slash showing you just so you can, if you like them, you can grab them. This is, for reference, this is Opoly bodysuit and these are my White Fox joggers. I love them. Okay, then we have a Citizen Seekers hoodie. I think this goes on my rack. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. This is the series hoodie in foam. I love it. I wore it on Mother's Day. I think it's so pretty. I actually have a whole section of my wardrobe dedicated to this and Seekers hoodies, which if that doesn't scream, I have a problem. I don't know what does. Then this is another Sisters and Seekers hoodie. This is one of their new ones. It's like a knitted, like a thick knit hoodie. I love, I think it's so pretty. What a surprise. The next thing I'm hanging up is another Sisters and Seekers hoodie. This is the same one as the one in foam. It's just in navy. Then we have this corset from House of CB. I love this so much. I think I'm gonna wear this to my friend's 21st. She's having her 21st in like a week, just over a week. So I think I might wear this. It's like kind of dressy, well it is dressy I think, but I don't have any dresses and I'm not gonna get a dress because I don't really wear dresses to be completely honest. So I'm gonna wear like a nice corset like this with heels and like jeans I think. So. This, I was just trying this on because the first time, this shows that Gemma's been paying off because the first time I wore this, I remember I was so uncomfortable, so uncomfortable. Like it was literally squeezing me in so tight because House of CB, although I love their stuff and their sizing fits quite well normally, I got a extra small in something and it was like huge. And then I thought, oh, okay, I'll definitely get an extra small in this. And then this is tiny. Like the extra small is extra small. Like it's very small. So if you did like the look of this, it's like a little work asymmetric kind of neckline. Um, and you're in between sizes, I'd probably size up because it was a lot to put on. But now it fits literally perfectly, it's actually almost slightly too big. Um, no, it's not, but like it's not cinching me in, it just kind of fits. Uh, so that shows that my gym's been buying off. Next thing I have is this wellness top from girls know all i really like this top i have this in a size medium um it's really nice i might give it a wash because it's got a bit of foundation around the neckline but realistically it's just going to go back straight on when i do that so i might just hang it up <laughs> that describes me then these are just like my gym joggers i have a pair of joggers that they've got a bit of a hole in them by like the pocket and i only wear joggers to the gym when i have like shorts on underneath so i just think might as well make some use of them so these are my gym joggers they're just like pretty little thing basic grey joggers they're really good great price as well so yeah then if you watched my collective haul video you'll remember these these are the sisters and seekers wide leg joggers i like them do i love them no i i'm sending back i actually need to send them back they're literally oh you can't see the thing i've got like the other pair in the packet to send back and I just haven't done it so I'm gonna do it literally as soon as I finish filming this video. Then we have these White Fox joggers, they are the Archive 6 joggers in shade Haze, I guess size small in the joggers at White Fox. Actually White Fox have a discount at the minute, like a site like a site wide sale, it's 30% off site wide if you use my code Daisy YouTube. Um, so yeah, also I've got a code on Instagram, so my Instagram, TikTok and YouTube codes different. Um, and someone messaged me, they're like, oh, your Instagram code isn't working, like, well, and, I, and I thought, I reckon, and I have some people, like, say this quite a lot, and I think it's because it's Daisy Harriet, and people aren't putting two T's at the end of my name. If you ever spell my name, <laughs> put two T's at the end of my surname, because that is a pet peeve of mine. Like, my name is Daisy Harriet. Harriet. 
not Harriet. Two Ds, two Rs, two Ds. I just slammed the joggers so hard into the back of the wardrobe that it's just actually cut off the top of my nail. Sorry, I'm sorry at you, but like, no, that has literally ruined my day. That is just not cute. Why did I do that? See, this is what I get for tidying. This is why I don't tidy, because bad things happen when I tidy. I have two PR packages to open, so I thought I'd open them with you. This looks cool. The Skinny Tan Body Glow Gradual Everyday Self Tan Lotion. Lovely. Thank you so much. That looks really nice. The only thing is it's in the shade medium. I need ultra dark. <laughs> because of how pale I am. But anyways, this could be something that once I've tanned, I like keep the tan up with that. So... Nice. I feel like this is the tan that doesn't smell. Or like it smells like chocolate or something. Am I getting that really wrong? Oh, it doesn't smell like tan. It smells like something else. I feel like it smells quite coconutty, or like vanilla-y. But I love that. Thank you. Then we have a box from Iconic London. Oh, we have lots of goodies in here. We have Radiance Boosters in, I'm guessing, shades 1, 2 and 3. As they have come like this. What? This is the most like cat handed way to show you. Like one, two, and three. Lovely. Then we have glaze crayon. I don't know what these are. Oh, okay, these are eyeshadows. Ooh, look at that. Lovely and glittery. How do I use it? <gasps> Ooh, wait, I'm so confused. That's like one end. <laughs> How do I get into this glittery bit? Oh wait, aha. Aha. Cool, a duo ended product, I love that. That is shade Mirage. And then I have Desert Rose as well. Thank you so much. Oh, there's also other stuff in here, one sec. Then we have, I think these are all concealers. Oh yes, concealers. So I have shades Beige, Natural Beige and Lightest Nude. So I'm guessing lightest news is the lightest because I'll probably need that. Ooh, lovely packaging. Nice. Ooh, that looks like a nice shade. Ah, oh, that looks like such a nice shade for me. I'm so excited to try those. Ooh, blends out nicely. Okay, thank you so much to you, Iconic London for those. I can't wait to try. I'm just gonna put the fake tan thing in my fake tan drawer. And saying that, there's a lot of mess on my fake tan drawer things top. So let's sort this out. Okay, we have my another version cap, which I love. I wear this to the gym quite a lot, to be honest. And it's just on days that I either haven't washed my hair, disgusting, or I just want to put a cap on, to be honest. So I've got this, and I think this is actually just all rubbish, to be honest. Oh my God, guys, there's a UPS man outside and he's bringing your parcel. Okay, I can see the finish line now. We are almost clean and tidy and it feels very nice to us. I need to put my mirror just on my windowsill. So I have a bone to pick with Amazon. I order something and like, it's fine. It's still coming today, but about an hour and a half ago, two hours ago, it said it was seven stops away. Unless it's downstairs. <laughs> I don't know it's downstairs, but I really wanted it. It was just a tripod and like some hair clips, but Kind of want it now, you know. My mum said the other day, she was like, You guys live in like an instant world, like everything we want, we can just get like straight away, like literally in a day. And that is actually so true. Like anything we want, realistically, we can order from Amazon and get it the next day. Okay, enough of me waffling. I have my bag that I wore today to my hair appointment. I am just gonna put it in my wardrobe, it's not really got anything in it, it's just got like sunglasses in it. So I like to keep stuff in bags just so when I pick up a bag and go out the door, it's like I've got everything that I need in the bag already. Okay, and that is pretty much it. It's looking a lot better. This is how my desk area is looking. Ignore the bin, because I can't do anything about that. But that's my desk area. I might move this. Yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's looking. It's a lot tidier. I'll show you a final little thing of the drawers. Oh, I'm gonna have to move my chair, one sec. Okay, so these are the drawers. It's looking so much better, even though like, this is kind of moved when I put it in, but like, it's all looking so much better. I found a couple extra things like my mirror, a pencil sharpener, jewellery and stuff that needed to go in there, beauty blenders. But apart from that, it's all how I put it in, showing you guys. Also, look at my new ring. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so nice. 
Okay, so that is my content beauty room tidy. I'm so happy. It will stay this way for a bit longer. I also think like I need to be less hard on myself, not hard on myself, I'm not hard on myself about tidying, but like I need to just think, oh okay, like I can put a few things away, I don't need to do a full tidy. So I think that's what I keep thinking, like that I need to do a full tidy every time that I tidy my room, which I don't because it takes a long time and it's not necessary. So don't be too hard on yourself guys if you are messy like me. My camera's about to die. It was on full charge when I started, that's how long this has taken me. Okay guys, before my camera dies and I forget to film an outro, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. I know it's not my like normal content, sorry, I feel like my lipstick is like below my teeth, but I've decided that we're best friends. Like I was saying this on my TikTok, well I've said this on a video that I'm putting on TikTok. You are my best friends, like you don't actually have a choice in the matter. So I'm going to start doing more like casual videos, like get to know me a bit more. I feel like we're friends now, you have to be friends with me. That's it basically. So yes, I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for hanging out with me while I tidy my room. I appreciate it, help the time go quicker. It is half five. I'm pretty sure I started this like four. Um, so yeah, thanks for hanging out with me for this long. I love you so much and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Love you.